let's write a program. Um, we're going to create a new program. Um, sketch, import library, hex bright, pound include wire.h. Um, I've actually included wire.h over here, but it appears that it's um, specific to Arduino, um, just like, say, loop and setup are. So uh, the pound include hex uh, dot h doesn't actually give us wire. Um, and it's necessary if we're going to do anything with the accelerometer. Um, let's see. Let's create an, a hex bright object, hex bright, hex bright, uh, with a millisecond delay. Uh, define the delay to be 5 again. Um, let's say void setup init hardware and void loop update. Now, over here we have some useful things for debugging. We'll touch those a little bit later. Useful constants that we want. Um, the reason they're not enums, if anybody cares, is, well, you can't do arithmetic easily on enums. Um, now, okay, so hex bright update delay. Oh, right, we're going to save this as something. Um, don't save it as new. I found this out just last time. Uh, um, sometimes if the project, if Arduino doesn't like the project name, it will just not compile. Say, I don't recognize loop and setup, where are they? Um, and you just need to change the name. We'll say basic. Um, okay, so hex write delay, update delay, milliseconds. Um, setting it from 5 to 30 is a good idea, um, but if you do any printing, um, you may end up overrunning your update, so it's not going to be the same regardless of your behavior. Uh, so it might run over, and then um, what you do over here will uh, take a little longer than you expect. And then uh, hardware update, okay. It'll stay inside, uh, uh, update will stay until update delay time has passed. So if you say five milliseconds, update will run once. The next time it comes by, if it's been less than five milliseconds, it will wait until it has been five milliseconds, and then it will run again. Um, that's from the start of update. Uh, so this one run of update to the next should be five milliseconds. It's not five milliseconds plus the update uh, run time. Shut down, we don't need that uh, We're uh, just yet. So. We're going to start off again with just a basic, very basic program. Um, uh, let's see, if um, xbrite dot, let's see, button released, if it's been released and button held for less than 300 milliseconds, we will set the light, xbrite dot set light. Uh, from the current current level to um, we'll say max uh, level and do it over the course of 120 milliseconds uh, 150 why not um, okay so that'll turn it on we want something to turn it off if hex right dot button held for longer than 300 uh, milliseconds regardless of its um, regardless um, of whether or not it's been released um, we're going to do a hex write dot shut down okay now we're gonna verify this and upload uh, send it to the de uh, device There's a clue. Wire uh, is a, a special library right here, so you need to import it specifically in Arduino, apparently. Um, okay. Let's see. Press the button, turn it on. Press the button, hold it down, turn it off. Works great. Press the button multiple times, stays on. Um, let's see. Let's let's make this a little more fancy. Um, one level is fine, but um, I like having more than one brightness. I don't know about you. 
Um, so, let's see. We will say brightness equals. Uh, well, let's see. We're, we'll create brightness. Int brightness equals zero. So if brightness, uh, let's see. We want brightness. Okay. So set light actually goes from zero to one thousand. So we'll do a few steps in here. Um, uh, we'll say equals brightness plus 250 as it was in the other and then do a mod 1000 okay so that'll step us through a few different levels and then we will uh, do brightness right here so now when we run verify and upload we will see that um, every time we click the button will cycle from um, one level to the next Loading. Press the button. We have a few levels. Um, turns off. It appears it has this brightness, uh, brighter, even brighter, and then off again. So four states. Um, but that's a little weird because um, we have, I mean, five. Right? Zero. We want 250. We want 500. 750. We want and 1,000. We want. Right? So. Um, let's figure out what's going on. We're going to go to here to debug, um, enable debug mode, and set that to light control. Um, verify this, upload it, and let's see. Uploading. Okay. So, oh, you'll notice that right away um, it starts just increasing in light level. Um, that's a debug mode um, uh, thing for light level specifically. If it's on light level, it'll first go through all 1,000. We can at any time press a button, it'll take us to that level. So, press the button once, it takes us to 250. Press the button again, 500. Okay. Uh, apparently, um, this code is a little out of date. It has a bug that I've fixed uh, where loop time, uh, we, re we requested that it be 5 between every run, but on average we're getting it about 6.13. This is only recorded in debug mode, by the way. Um, any of the debug modes will um, print the, the loop time if it's beyond what we expect by one millisecond. So this should be 5, but it's just an off by one error. I know what the problem is. Um, but if you are running a lot of intensive stuff and you find uh, and you run in debug mode and you see that you are over your loop time, that means that, well, um, something is taking up a lot of time and you want to look into it. Um, anyway, so let's cycle through these modes. So we start at zero. Um, it's off. Go to 250. Okay. 500. 750. And zero. We're not hitting our last mode. Um, let's see, we're going to take this and, um, let's see, let's see, instead of the remainder of dividing it by 1000, we want the remainder of dividing it by 1250. Um, that should give it, give us that last bit that we want. We're going to upload this and see what happens. Press a button, takes us to 250, 500, 750, and 1000. We have our max brightness right now. Press it again, it goes to zero, but it's not actually off, um, which is interesting, right? Um, and if I'm just cycling through the different brightnesses like this, I actually, I mean, we're missing the lowest light level, which is one. Um, let's do something to fix that. Um, let's see. We've seen one way of doing it in the um, over here in programs uh, functional. I actually have a table of different brightnesses that it steps through, but we'll do it um, a little differently. Oh boy, basic. Oh, I didn't save it in the programs directory. There we go. Um, 
So, let's see. This is a little bit of a shortcut. If, not if, but rather, if brightness is equal to uh, zero, we want it to actually be one. Otherwise, brightness. Okay. So, compiled, upload, we'll see how this works for us. Okay. Let's press the button once. Takes us to 250. Press it again. 500, 750, 1000, and down to 1, which is the lowest brightness level possible. Um, that's good and all, except I don't really want us to start at zero, I mean at 250. I'd rather the first brightness be the lowest. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of something right here um, so that, well we're gonna set brightness at 1000 right here. So that when it hits here it'll add 250, divide by 1250, and then immediately set us at 1. Verify and upload. Okay, I'm pretty sure that'll work, so I'm gonna go on. Now let's see. Let's see. Button held, button released. Let's see, let's do something with the, the charge state. Um, okay. Oh wait, we're done here. Let's see. Serial monitor. Open this up, press the button once, takes us to 1. Press it again. 250. 500. 750, 1000, and down to 1. That's great. Okay. Now, hmm, shut down. Uh, we actually, let's see, I, I want to get the charge state out of this. So, let's do this. Um, if, let me see, if button has been held, um, hmm, we need some modes here. Int mode equals zero. Um, define off mode as zero. Define on mode as one. Okay, if it's released, we'll make sure that mode equals on mode. And over here, we'll set it to mode equals off mode. Okay. Now, let's see, if the button is, if it's supposed to be off and it's plugged in, we want to get some output. Um, shut down, as I mentioned, um, if the LED, uh, if the uh, USB is plugged in, shut down will not actually turn it off. Um, uh, will retain USB power and it'll charge. Let's see, if mode equals off mode and get charge state equals uh, wait charge state equals um, I'll have them right there for you um, charging equals charging you're gonna say hex right dot um, we'll set the LED. We'll set an LED. Set LED. Dot set LED state. We want the green LED. And we want it to be on. And we want it to be on for 300 um, milliseconds before it decays to a wait state. Now, let's run this. Oh. Expert dot get charge state. Okay, verify and upload. Okay. I have a solid green, which isn't exactly what I want. When it's charging, I want it to be blinking, so what am I going to do? Let's see. 
let's see what's actually happening. We'll enter this and look at the but button presses in the rear LED, what is actually going on. Okay. Wait a second. So, every time we go through, we're turning the LED on, and it's supposed to be there for 80 updates, but we just reset it every time. So we need to add a condition to test for that. So, let's see. We're just resetting it while it's still on. Let's make sure that it's off before we turn it on. Um, if hexbrite dot get LED state of green LED is equal to LED off, only then do we want to do that. Verify upload and let's take a look. So what's actually happening right here? Number of cycles counting down. We turn it off right there, because that's the 100 milliseconds, which is the uh, current setting. I'll probably be turning that into a variable. It's off for 20, and then it goes from the wait state to the off state. And we detect that and turn it back on. So now we have a blinking green LED on the rear. Looks good. Um, press the button, turn it on, it's a button pressed, it was held for 17, 20 cycles multiplied by 5, so that was 200, okay, I'll be changing that I think, anyway, working just fine, turn it off and we get the blinking, very nice. I don't think I want it to just be when it's off, though. If it's in any mode, we'll just um, do that. Wait a second. If mode equals off, no, we'll just remove that condition. So if it's charging, do that. Else if uh -huh. sprite dot get charge state equals um, charged, charged. In that case, we will just say write dot set LED state green LED um, LED on and one. It'll just come cycle through every time, so it doesn't matter. We could set it to any number we want, so long as it's positive. Um, verify that. Upload. So, mine's charging, turn it on, we still have our countdown because it's charging. Looks good. There we have a basic program with five brightness levels, an off state, um, um, which is, uh, well, of course needed, um, and the uh, charging update of the status. On one last note, we'll turn off the debug so that um, we don't have the funny, the brightness increasing at the beginning or any special modes for debugging, and it'll make things run a little bit faster. Upload.